I am Anil Kumar sharing with you solutions of questions provided by my student Gurmeen. Gurmeen, thanks a lot for sharing these questions and I hope many of my students will benefit. In this particular video, we'll discuss how to find exact values. I'll take up two examples. Here is the first one. The question is, find the exact value of cosecant 45 degrees plus 10 30 degrees divided by secant 30 degrees time cos 225 degrees. To begin with, let's write down the expression with primary trigonometric ratios and acute angle, right? So that's the concept. So we are given cosecant 45 degrees plus, let's copy the question first, tan 30 degrees divided by secant 30 degrees times cos 225, right? Cosecant is 1 over sine. So let's write down as 1 over sine 45 degrees. Tan 30 is fine. So let's write down tan 30 as such. Secant is 1 over cos. So in the denominator it is, I could write this as cos of 30 degrees. And here we have cos of 225. Cos of 225 means what? 225 will be an angle in quadrant 3, right? So we're talking about some angle here. As you know the cost rule, in quadrant 3, only tan is positive, cos is negative. So what do we expect? We expect a negative answer for cos 225. And what is the acute angle? To find the acute angle, we can do 225 degrees minus 180 degrees, correct? That gives us 45 degrees. So that is the acute angle, 45 degrees. So I could write this as minus cos 45 degrees, correct? Now this minus and this plus will make it negative here, correct? Okay, let us substitute the values. To substitute values, we can look into our special triangles, one with 45 degrees, the other one with 30, 60, 90. At times, you may not be allowed calculator for doing such questions, and that is why this helps. So this is 45 degrees angle, and for 60 degrees, we have that triangle, one, two, square root three, correct? This angle, of course, will be 30. Okay. Sine of 45 is 1 over square root 2. So when it comes in denominator, I could write this as 1 over square root 2. Do you see that? So I'm not writing layers of fractions. I'm not writing 1 over square root 2 and then moving back, correct? That's a better way. Plus tan of 30 degrees. So 30 degrees, we look from this side. Tan is opposite over adjacent. It gives me 1 over square root 3 cos of 30 degrees, adjacent over hypotenuse, square root 3 over 2, minus cos of 45, which is 1 over square root 2, but with a negative sign, minus 1 over square root 2, correct? You could simplify this and rewrite the exact value as square root 2 plus, what do we get here? Plus times minus is negative, so let me write down negative, and we have 1 over 2 square root 2, 1 over 2 square root 2. Now, at this stage, it is a good idea to rationalize. You could take common denominator and rationalize, or you could rationalize this expression itself, right? You could do that. But anyway, normal way is just take common denominator which is 2 square root 2. We have to multiply square root 2 by this term. So we have square root 2 times 2 square root 2 minus 1, correct? So let's take it to the right side. We can actually go one more step. We Let's do it like this. So we have square root 2 times square root 2 is 2 times 2 is 4. So I get 
4 minus 1 divided by 2 square root 2, 2 square root 2. So, which is, I mean 2 square root 2, yeah. So, which is 4 minus 1 is 3, so 3 over 2 square root 2. I can rationalize this, multiplying and dividing by square root 2. Correct? So, once you do that, you get your answer as 3 square root 2 divided by 2 square root 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. So, 3 square root 2 over 4. So, the exact value for the given question is 3 square root 2 over 4, right? So, that is how you do it. Well, Gurmeen, I changed the question a bit. I made it positive instead of negative. Okay, so let's go to the next question, which is find the exact value of sine of 315 degrees plus cotangent 300 degrees whole square, right? So whole square. Now let's find exact value for this particular trigonometric expression. So sine 315 means what? So let's look into the coordinate plane. We know all are positive here, sine, tan and cosine. 315 really means that we are in coordinate 4 and 360 minus what? Right. So 360 minus 315 will give us 45, correct? So we are at this position. So that makes you 315 degrees. So I could write this acute angle is 45 degrees. Since we are in quadrant 4, sine 315 is going to be negative, right? So let's first copy the question as such and then we'll do the needful. So we have sine 315 degrees plus cotangent 300 degrees whole square sine 315 since it is in quadrant 4 could be written as minus sine 45 degrees now cotangent 300 degrees that is also in quadrant 4 <coughs> so let's make it here so that is 60 degrees less than 360 so that is the acute angle 60 degrees and this is what we are calling as 300 degrees since tan is negative in quadrant 4, cotangent will also be negative and therefore we could write this as minus cotangent 60 degrees, correct? Whole square. So we have acute angles. Let's write down the trigonometric expression with, we can take minus common, okay. So we get sine 45 degrees plus that is 1 over tan 60 degrees, correct? Whole square. Okay, let me close this bracket for this negative. So when you square, negative becomes positive. Is that okay? So when you square, negative becomes positive. So what we get here is sine 45 degrees plus 1 over tan 60 degrees whole square, correct? So that's what we get. Now, let's look into the special triangles, 45 degrees and 30, 60, 90. There's no harm in sketching them. It just takes few seconds, right? And this is 1, 2, square root 3. Sine 45, 1 over square root 2. So we could write this as 1 over square root 2 plus tan 60. This is 60 degrees, tan is square root 3 over 1. It is in the denominator. So I'll write square root 3 here and 1 there. I hope you appreciate this technique. So that's what we get. Now we will see how to actually work with this radical expression. Let me rewrite this with common denominator 2 times 3, right? So what we have here is 2 times 3 is square root of 6 and in the numerator we'll get square root 3 
plus square root 2 cross multiply and all this is squared correct that square so when you square denominator gets becomes 6 so that saves a lot of steps for us no square root no rationalization what about the numerator now this is sometimes students may make a mistake here so let's recall what is a plus b whole square a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square correct so we'll apply this formula here square of square root 3 is 3 that is a square plus twice square root 3 times square root 2 plus square of square root 2 which is 2 is it okay so that is what you get now we can combine the terms 2 plus 3 is 5 here we have 2 times plus 2 times square root 6 3 times 2 right 3 times 2 divided by 6 so that is our answer so the answer is 5 plus 2 square root 6 divided by 6. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to post your suggestions and if you like, they'll be great. Thank you and all the best.